A new NASA facility designed to simulate Mars missions and living on Mars has been built. Yeah, called uh, Chapia, um, NASA has quite a few of these, and now this is the newest, Mars Simulator. Now, when we say Mars Simulator, this isn't changing gravity or the atmosphere. This is really health and psychological experimentation. One of the keys of when eventually people go to Mars is how they will live and how for how long they will live. Um, the duration missions to Mars are going to take about three years or so, roughly eight to nine months to get there, same back in about a year or so on Mars. And so there's a lot of prepping and learning about how the astronauts are going to adapt, live, and survive in one of these habitats. So they've actually built one based on the designs of what they think may be applied for Mars in the future and are going to do test runs of astronauts or simulated astronauts in these. So there will be eventually four people locked in this little capsule <laughs> or this little habitat uh, in Johnson Space Center for over a year. Um, and this is specifically designed for Mars in those long durations. There's other ones like high seas um, and, and others that are privately owned that do a little bit shorter missions. But with the Mars aspect and how long it is, these people will be simulating can people stay indoors for a year and get along? It's a very simple but important question when getting to Mars. Yeah.